faculty of art, a faculty of science. So uh, five projects uh, that have been awarded by the federal government, approximately two billion uh, is what is here been awarded. The projects have all started. Uh, they are the foundation level, as you can see, and uh, the work is progressing. And uh, we are expecting that uh, before the end of the year, all the projects will be completed, and then we will start section, uh, the next session on the permanent site. So you are welcome to our permanent site uh, of the Federal University. We have the takeoff site, takeoff campus, which is in uh, in, uh, in a Dutsuma town, uh, also donated uh, by the state government. And um, when we get there, you see a lot of development. The land area is about uh, 20 uh, hectares of land, which has been donated, and the state government is already processing uh, papers uh, to hand over to the university as a also part of the permanent site of the university. Or the, um, the Vice Chancellor of the Federal University, uh, Dutsuma, Professor James Ayatse. I am the Vice Chancellor here. You're welcome. <coughs> Please, uh, we have heard from the Vice Chancellor. Do we have any question, please, with regards to the new university in place? Maybe for, before the questions uh, come, uh, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of uh, Katina State, uh, the Vice Chancellor of Federal University, Dusima, uh, other management staff, professors, and staff of the new university, the National President of NUJ, and members of the National Good Governance Store, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. First, let me, by some form of background, say that uh, the federal government, under the leadership of President Goodluck Jonathan, decided that every state should have a federal university to achieve equity. There are states that have up to two federal universities, and there are some other states that don't have one at all. And the federal government decided there was a need uh, to spread the presence of federal universities to every, each of the 36 states of the Federation. Now, it was not just a matter of equity. Yesterday you saw a lot of, uh, you saw a lot of uh, issues being raised when the Minister of Education said that majority of people sitting for UMA will not be able to get an admission because access is still limited even the population. Some newspapers decided to say uh, so, so, so million of people will be denied admission. The reality is that all along, admission is still limited, access is still a problem. And that's why when we were criticized for setting up the universities, we said, look, even now, we need more spaces for university admission. And we have also found that in most universities along the west coast of Africa. Nigerians form the majority there. You go to Ghana, even Beni Republic and Togo, you will find that majority of students seeking admission in those places are Nigerians. If you go to England, you go to America, you will find that majority of Africans reading in those countries in Europe are also Nigerians. So we have a huge hunger for education, and we've been trying to create additional space so that our children can school at home. So the additional 12 universities will still not be enough. That is what it means. And that is why the federal government is also licensing private universities to go side by side with the federal universities to expand admission space for Nigerians seeking admission. For the federal university in Katina, like all other universities that have been established. The president directed that he will want these 12 universities to serve as models. They should learn from the mistake of the past and ensure that they do not expand beyond the facilities. In other words, 
admission will not at pace the growth of infrastructure. And I believe the Vice Chancellor is taking that to heart. We don't want the place to be crowded out, and then in the end, you find that the students are not getting the best. So the President has directed that immediate development of all the permanent sites should start. This is what we are starting. And this is going on in all the other nine universities that were announced in 2010. The additional three that were announced recently also will take off in 2014. And the federal government is planning right now for the development of their own infrastructure. This is very important. Now for the Katina state government, let me on behalf of the federal government appreciate what Governor Shema has done. One, he has given us a temporary site with some infrastructure there, without which the university would not have taken off. Now he has given 1,200 hectares of land here, with additional 9,000 standing by, if there was need for it. And he has also given the C of O for this land to the university. This indeed is very exemplary. We call on other state governors to do similarly, so that these universities can take off on a sound footing. The other issue about this university, the, the, the president decided that because federal universities are now being reduced to indigenous, you know, issues of indigenous, issues of uh, the vice chancellor must come from the village where the university is located, has grossly affected the quality of university administration. And so you will notice that none of the new vice chancellors is from the states where the universities are located. What the president is trying to achieve is to spread out to make these universities truly federal. And I believe that policy will later affect also some of the older universities. If you go to some of them now, they have been reduced to local government universities. Everybody believes that people must come from that village. And what, it happens is, what happens is that it limits even the capacity of the administration to tap the best in the country. It closes up the system. And so we can't think. When Sardona wanted to set up ABU, he brought people from abroad to establish it. Today it looks like everybody must come from the environment. We are a federation. And what is expected that we need to mix up, both in terms of admission and staffing, to create the needed national integration and also competition that will enable the students to learn more from each other to build a new Nigeria that we are hoping, we are, we are, we are working hard to build. So my challenge to the federal university here, uh, particularly the pioneer vice chancellor, is that these jobs must be properly supervised. There must also be proper design of these structures. We don't want universities that have no respect for aesthetics. We want to build university, the environment also will determine the inspiration for students to read. So we should not fall below the standards. When you go to Obafemi Awolo University up to tomorrow, you know that people planned it and were looking futuristic. So please, the finishing, the design, now that you have a lot of space, is very, very important. We don't all have to crowd the buildings. We need to create space between buildings and plant green environment so that as you move from building to building, you have a very good environment. You have 1,200 hectares, so it's important that in planning the university there must be a total plan of the land and spaces between buildings to give the kind of environment that is required. I will advise, when we went to the University of Benin, we discovered that most of the land had been taken over by private people. So C of O is not a warranty that the land will not be encroached upon. My advice to you right away is that you must fence off the entire range of this land with plenty of trees. Plant trees, perimeter of maybe something like uh, 100 yards, round the entire land that is your own, and plant rows of trees inside so that you can effectively take charge of this land. Because once the university starts, you'll be surprised the number of people that want to come and build here. People will be attracted by the university, so you better early plan to
properly secure your land. You can't do it by building a fence, but you can do it by planting trees all around it and within the land itself so that you take effective control. And uh, we pray that this university in Katina, uh, Katina is known for scholarship long ago, even in the old northern region, most of the early colleges were always in Katina. So it's a center of scholarship long ago. So it's nice that we're having a university here now, and we pray that it will be of service to this country. I thank you very much. The people are pushing me. Well, um, I think uh, one good thing that this administration is doing, I'm referring to the federal government. We've had the opportunity of visiting so many states, and um, we visited some of these new universities. In fact, it's a very big opportunity that government is providing admission, taking it at the doorstep. Because if you look at the last um, jam examination, you see the number of um, students. And then um, for government to have it in mind that there's need to provide easy admission for our own indigenous uh, citizens of this country, I think it's highly commendable. We know the amount of hard currency Nigerians are spending outside this country, just like the minister stated, when you go to Ghana, if you know the amount of resources, Nigerian resources that are committed in the education in Ghana, is even more than the budget of education in Nigeria. So if you have a government that is taking care of our own citizens, making sure that they get admission easily by providing universities, federal universities for that matter, for all states, I think is highly commendable to some institutions where uh, the structures put there despite the